What are the most beautiful cities in the world? This is a question that keeps a lot of us up at night. British painter Francis Bacon said that beauty is in the eyes of the beholder. It is somewhat subjective to define which cities are beautiful and which are not. To avoid controversy, most travelers, in addition to their experience, take into account other factors such as the size of the city, its architecture, green areas, the heritage, the historical artistic set and if they have a rich gastronomy of their own. Many gorgeous, amazing cities are not here. I think you'll agree with me, though, beautiful cities can be found in every part of the world, I even believe that every city in town, even the smallest, most nondescript ones, has at least a beautiful corner. But this list is of the cities that everyone can agree are some of the most beautiful. Now, in no particular order, here is our list of the top 10 most beautiful cities in the world. Welcome to our channel World Travel Diary and you are watching the top 10 most beautiful cities in the world. If you like this type of videos, be sure to subscribe for more great content. Let's get started. Number 10, Singapore. I think most people that have ever been to Singapore kind of agreed. This is a very beautiful city. Singapore is officially known as the Republic of Singapore and it's a sovereign island country and city-state in Southeast Asia about 85 miles north of the equator. Singapore is a haven for the world's most serious shoppers and eaters alike. The city's safe streets and clean public transportation systems make it a breeze to navigate, while its hidden gem food halls, gleaming malls and impressive gardens make Singapore the perfect all-rounder for those looking for an exciting city break. Singapore has become a favorite playground for the world's rich. As the world's biggest businesses have continued to invest in Singapore, so have some of the world's finest luxury brands. Singapore is really not that big but they see about 19 million visitors every single year. Now they claim that they see about 19 million visitors a year. Number 9, Lisbon, Portugal. Lisbon is the capital and the largest city in Portugal with an estimated population of about 550,000 residents. Now the whole metro area around there has almost 3 million but they got about 550,000. Lisbon, the charming capital of Portugal in southern Europe, is known for its colorful buildings and great hillside views. Visitors enjoy taking nearly 150-year-old trams and guided walking tours through cobblestone streets, along with exploring historic UNESCO World Heritage Sites such as towers and monasteries. Another popular activity is catching a performance of Fadu, a type of Portuguese folk music played live at local restaurants and venues. Lisbon is the stunning capital city of Portugal, and is one of the most charismatic and vibrant cities in Europe. It is a city that effortlessly blends traditional heritage, with striking modernism and progressive thinking. As a holiday destination, Lisbon offers a rich and varied history, buzzing nightlife and is blessed with a glorious year-round climate and is a bustling and exciting city that boasts a wide selection of activities and fascinating tourist attractions. It has a welcoming and liberal atmosphere, while still embracing its deep-rooted heritage and extensive history. The best time of year to visit Lisbon is in late spring, May to June, when the days are bright and sunny but the temperatures are not unbearably hot. The peak season is between June and August, so if you visit at this time of year, you should expect the city to feel very crowded. The weather is suitable for spending time on the beach from May until the end of September. Number 8, Amsterdam, the Netherlands. Amsterdam is the capital of the Netherlands and it's known for its really artistic heritage, its canal system and their houses that are right on top of each other that look amazing. From its picturesque canals and bridges to its historic homes, Amsterdam is a full-blown fairy tale. The brightly colored bicycles and tulip stands around town don't hurt either. Must-see sites include the Anne Frank House, the Van Gogh Museum, and the world's only floating flower market. Rent a bike and join thousands of locals peddling around. Other visitors might want to linger in the local coffee shops, 
which is just a normal part of the city's landscape. Amsterdam is the capital of the Netherlands with a population of more than 850,000. It seems like Amsterdam sees about 8.8 .8 million tourists every single year. They get a lot of business travelers too which I don't think are counted in their tourism. Number 7, Cape Town, South Africa. An essential destination on your trip to South Africa, Cape Town is possibly one of the most multicultural cities in Africa, and has best integrated its European heritage with its African character. Its main attraction is the explosion of color of its picturesque houses. Like its surroundings, composed of almost virgin nature, we can find large hills and abundant vegetation, and also crystal clear water beaches with penguin colonies, Simon's Town, or a seal island, Hout Bay. Very close to the city you can also find some of the best vineyards in the country. Its history still recalls that Cape Town was the birthplace of many leaders of the anti-apartheid movement. In fact, in this city was where Nelson Mandela recited the speech that marked the beginning of a new era for the country. Walking and hiking around Cape Town is like one of the more popular things to do for tourists. Hiking up to Lion's Head is one of the more popular hikes, which you could get up the top there, and it's beautiful. You can just see the entire city, the ocean. Cape Town draws about 5 million tourists annually. I would have thought more than that. But I guess it's really hard to get to. Number 6, Barcelona, Spain. Barcelona is a city of boundless energy, tasty tapas, gothic architecture, and sun-drenched beaches. As the capital of Catalonia, Barcelona's rich and unique culture permeates the city. Gaudi's masterpieces, the many museums and the Gothic quarters give visitors a small taste of Spain's expansive history. Make the most of Barcelona's enviable lifestyle with the help of our travel guide. Barcelona is an enchanting seaside city with boundless culture, fabled architecture and a world-class drinking and dining scene. Famed for its architectural treasures, Barcelona is dotted with striking Gothic cathedrals, fantastical modernism creations and avant-garde works. The best time to visit the Barcelona is from May to June when balmy temperatures in the low to mid-70s mesh with a flurry of festivals that trumpet the advent of summer. The actual summertime is sticky with humidity, locals leave their beloved city in droves to catch a breeze somewhere else. They come back for the fall when the average highs drop back into the 70s. Barcelona has a variety of accommodation options for all budgets. If you're looking to stay in the heart of the city, drop your bags in the Gothic Quarter. Barcelona sees more than 27 million visitors a year. In 2021, Barcelona saw less than 5 million tourists, and in 2020, they saw little over 3 million. Number 5, Vancouver, Canada. Famed for its beauty, Canada's most cosmopolitan west coast city sits surrounded by mountains and beaches, with the green expanse of Stanley Park's forest enhancing the downtown peninsula. While the great outdoors appeals to travelers looking for adventure, downtown Vancouver is packed with attractions, shopping, and dining making it a must-visit for any traveler to the city. There are four Vancouver neighborhoods in the downtown peninsula, Gastown slash Chinatown, Yale Town, the West End, and Coal Harbor. Compact and easy to navigate, most of the neighborhoods are within walking distance from each other and the Skitran Canada Line Rapid Transit, Vancouver's Metro, makes it easy to move around the city center. Vancouver is a foodie city, teeming with incredible restaurants of every sort. The best restaurants in downtown Vancouver run the gamut from food trucks and izakayas, Japanese pubs, to seafood extravaganzas, and high-end Italian restaurants. Nightlife in downtown Vancouver is centered on Granville Street, known generally as the Granville Entertainment District. Stretching, roughly, from Nelson Street to Robson Street, downtown Granville Street is packed with bars and nightclubs, making it easy to club hop from one destination to another. Vancouver sees about 20 million tourists annually. Number 4, Venice, Italy. 
Yes, no list of beautiful cities would be complete without Venice. The city of the channels is made up of more than 100 small islands joined together by more than 400 bridges. Its main charm lies in the fact that it is a pedestrian city since the only traffic allowed is that of the boats that cross its channels. This is why Venice owns the title of the most romantic and special cities in Europe. Many artists have left their mark on it. A Venetian school of painting actually exists and examples of it can be seen in many museums worldwide. Its Renaissance architecture is one of its main hallmarks, as is the Plaza de San Marcos. There you will find some of the Italian cafes and restaurants most frequented by tourists. It was also an important nucleus for Italian music. Not only Vivaldi was born here, but it also has one of the most famous opera coliseums in the world. There's plenty of things to do, but most people just go there to take it in, eat some food, see how beautiful the city is, take some tours walking around the city. About 20 million tourists annually in 2020, Venice saw about 900,000 tourists that's at 20 million to 900,000. And in 2021, they moved up to 1.5 million but they were you know far off from their 20 million. Number 3, London, United Kingdom. As one of the most beautiful cities in the world, London is steeped in history, dotted with modernity, and, of course, dazzled by the flowering purple wisteria. Put on your walking shoes and stroll through the many paved streets to find the best London hidden gems. There are many quaint little squares surrounded by towering Gothic buildings. See the changing of the guards at, perhaps, the most famous residence, Buckingham Palace. Saunter through Columbia Road Flower Market, Spitalfields and sit atop the hill in Greenwich Park. The city hosts plenty of attractions, from Westminster Abbey in the London Eye to the Thames and the Shard. London normally sees about 30 million visitors a year. In 2021 they saw about 2.5 million visitors. If you're looking for a good place to stay, check out the Sea Containers Hotel. That's an interesting place. Number 2, New York City, USA. The tallest buildings, biggest museums, and best pizza, New York City is a city of superlatives, and it lives up to every one of them. From the dazzling spectacle of Broadway to MoMA's world-class galleries, the boutiques of Soho, and the array of restaurants offering cuisines from every corner of the world, there's a different New York to discover every time you visit. Beyond those iconic landmarks, though, New York's secret side awaits. You're likely to stumble upon indie vintage shops and locals-only brunch spots even on the shortest of strolls. And when the crowds and noise are too much to take, just look up, that skyline will remind you why you came in the first place. A lot of small cities up in New England that are even more beautiful but this is obviously going on major cities and only a major city can pull in tourist numbers like New York City can 66.6 .6 million visitors annually that's what they average in 2020 that number dropped down to 22 million but 66 million peoples. A lot of people come to a city no matter how big it is. Obviously if you're gonna go to New York City, you gotta go see Times Square. And number one, Paris, France. Yeah. Paris, France is one of the most beautiful cities. This could well be the most beautiful city in the world. As France's capital city, Paris is a place where romance and history go hand in hand. Enjoy an espresso at one of the cafes hugging the cobblestone streets as you admire the passers-by draped in beautiful clothing. Explore Paris hidden gems or walk around snapping pictures at iconic landmarks, including the Louvre Museum, the Eiffel Tower, the Sacre Coeur, and the Cathedral Notre Dame. Nicknamed the City of Lights, Paris looks just as beautiful at night time, when many of the famous landmarks are illuminated. Actually on the planet, Paris sees about 19 million tourists every single year. Now I did a little deeper digging into that one because that seemed kind of low and I did see some reports that claim they see closer to 30 million on a normal year. Now they took it pretty hard in 2021.
They only saw about 12 million and another report that said it was closer to 5 million, but it's still considered one of the most beautiful cities on the planet. These are the top 10 most beautiful cities in the world. If you get some knowledge from watching this video, be sure to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.